Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is uh, Chris from Kirk Gaddy Shark Hunting, and uh, I, if you guys looked on my page under Best Lure for Surf Casting, I put a comment that said I would go into more detail about it, really the best lure for surf casting. I picked out the dead minimum, just the best lures I could possibly find that I've used before and caught stripers with. And uh, I'm going to start out with uh, the Hopkins, I believe this is a 2 ounce Hopkins uh, jig. And people have been using this for like 50 years. I mean these things have been used for a long time. Occasionally they will catch striped bass. They, I mean, casting to breaking fish with a Hopkins, they'll catch striped bass every single time. Um, people use them as vertical jigs, tying the knot right there on that little swivel. And that, that people use them for vertical jigs. They're mainly used for blues, because blues will hit that. Anything shiny, blues will hit. Um, another one's a gotcha plug, and then I also have a tsunami plug, which is a little bit bigger than a gotcha. The tsunami plug is, well, the tsunami plug is right here. And uh, this one's a 2 ounce, and this one is good for the heavier. Uh, I would recommend using braid with these, just to get a lot better action with when you jerk down, do rapid jerks down, instead of using mono, which has stretch. You can also use Dacron, because that has minimal stretch too. Um, and thick mono will work too, but I prefer braid. They. These guys, when we're when I was in North Carolina for a week, this is all we used up on the pier were gotcha plugs. I preferred, well, I was using a little rod, a little seven-foot rod with just some 20-pound tests, and I was jerking uh, just little one-and-a-half-ounce gotchas, and I was catching bluefish after bluefish, and then you jerk them really fast, you get Spanish mackerel. But jerking these off the rocks in the fall and spring can catch you striped bass and in the surf. They work really, really well. Tsunami plugs are bigger and they buy the company Tsunami. It's just their bigger version of the gotcha plug and they work uh, a lot better for bigger rods. Um, so, small small gear, heavy gear. And then uh, the next one's going to be the Sabeel Bonga Jerk. This is my most expensive lure besides the Magic Swimmer by Sabeel. This one's $22 is what they're really priced at. And I've noticed people have caught monster stripers on these, especially off of uh, the Jersey Coast, about five miles. It's filled with liquid. They come in a range of colors, so anywhere from like white to this color, and then greens, and really, really pretty colors. And this is a two ounce, I believe two, two and a half. And uh, they work really well. I'm not sure what the action's, action's really supposed to be, I'm pretty sure it's called a bonga jerk. I guess you would do it the same way as you would do a gotcha plug. On to the next lure. Uh, this is just your standard uh, plug, surface popper. And it's got the red eye. It's This is a two ounce surface popper. These work really well for breaking fish. Pencil poppers will, will work even better. Uh, farther casting with pencil poppers than this. Uh, they will range anywhere from half an ounce to five to six ounces. And these work really with heavy rods and uh, breaking fish. People use them up in Montauk and catch monster fish with the, uh, these surface poppers. Okay, now I'm going to show you the king of all striper lures. I've caught stripers on plenty of these lures here. and I've caught them on this, I've caught them on this, I've caught them on this, and I've caught them on surface poppers. But the absolute king of all uh, lures for striped bass is a bucktail. That's my favorite. I've caught every big uh, striper I've ever caught has been caught on a bucktail. In the spring, we use only one type of lure, bucktails. They, well, we do a lot of trolling, so we use nothing but big five and six ounce bucktails. My biggest striper was, I believe, 48 inches, and I caught him on a bucktail. I caught my earlier striper this spring, I believe he was 39 and a half, and I caught him on a bucktail. When we're trolling, that's all we use is bucktails. They will catch everything from speckled trout to blounder to bluefish to stripers. These will always catch stripers if stripers are there. I would prefer breaking fish. I would prefer using a pencil popper or a surface popper. 
but if the stripers are there, you have a range of sizes. The, they go from a quarter of an ounce to one ounce like this and all the way up to nine ounces occasionally. I usually like using right now down in the creeks and stuff and the small rivers, they're feeding on shad about this size, just silver sides. And the big thing with lures, you want to match the hatch. And this does that perfectly. The stripers right now, I would guess, in Maryland are probably about two feet, three feet long. They're not that big, 24 inches. And this is a perfect lure for them. Pop it off the bottom and you can get speckled trout and flounder. Uh, just reel it normally and you can get bluefish and stripers. So if I had one lure to pick out of all these, it would be a bucktail. White, yellow, green, it really doesn't matter. My two favorite colors are white and yellow. Uh, see, it's got a little bit of red there. White and red are my two favorite lure colors. And uh, that's got to be my top pick out of any lure ever. So uh, this is uh, Chris signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video.